Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Aviation for GK. In this video, we will be discussing what is aircraft maintenance checks and how often they are performed. So, before I start with this video, if you are new to my channel, I would like to request you to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon, so that you won't miss any of my future videos. So, let's start with today's topic. All aircraft operators have specific maintenance procedures that are designed to establish or maintain the operational status of an aircraft. These procedures are aircraft maintenance programs developed by the operator to satisfy their operational requirements, but the trend is towards using the manufacturer's recommended standards. These basic procedures range from transit inspections through to heavy maintenance checks. To comply with regulatory authorities and for the safety of flight, planning of never exceed periods for each check is necessary. The never exceed period may be specified in calendar time or flying hours or cycles or a mixture of all three. A typical maintenance check cycle will comprise of transit or pre-flight check, daily, weekly and monthly check, a check, B check. C. Check and D. Check. Let us go through each one of these checks individually in detail. First the transit check or pre-flight check. This is performed on the ramp before every flight. It is intended to ensure continued airworthiness by checking for major defects and deficiencies. If the aircraft is of two engines and intended to fly extended range sector, the ETOPS transit check will also be required. ETOPS rating and operation is another topic, which I will be discussing in another video in detail. Now, let us see the daily, weekly and monthly checks. These checks are performed at the specified interval, and each check is a little deeper than the previous one. These checks are planned such that they can be performed during home base visits. A short haul aircraft may have one daily check and several transit check a day, while a long haul has a daily check when it returns to base every two or three days and transit at the line station. Now, let's see, a check this check starts from thorough visual inspection and operation of major airframe and engine systems. This is performed approximately every 500 to 800 flight hours. It may be done overnight on the ramp or in a hangar. The depth of the check may be graduated so that an A1 is followed by an A2 and so on. The B check, it includes a complete A check and is a more detailed check of systems. It is performed approximately every 6 to 9 months. The scheduled maintenance can be planned such that B check incorporated into successive A checks, the B check items in a reduced downtime. The C check. It includes complete A and B checks. This is performed approximately every 15 to 24 months or at a specific amount of actual flying hours FH, as defined by the manufacturer. This check is more extensive than a B check, as most of the aircraft are inspected. The time needed to complete such a check is generally 1 to 2 weeks. The D check. It is the most comprehensive it occurs at approximately 5 to 6 years for current aircraft types but the period may be reduced for the second and subsequent D checks. D checks include complete A, B, and C checks. It is a check that more or less takes the entire aircraft apart for inspection and overhaul. Such a check can take from three weeks to two months, depending on the aircraft and number of technicians involved. Because of the nature and the cost of such a check, most airlines, especially those with a large fleet, will plan D checks for their aircraft years in advance. This check also depends on the type of operation. The short haul flight may reach their flight hours or cycles faster compared to the long haul flights. To complete this topic, let us finally see, what does it mean by, never exceed period. 
To ensure continued airworthiness, each check has a mandatory never exceed period NEP. If the check is not completed by the specified time, the certificate of airworthiness is invalidated and the aircraft grounded. Hence the planning of scheduled maintenance well in advance plays a major role in keeping the aircraft in flight for most of its lifetime. So, that's all for today's topic, if you think this information helped you, then please like, comment and share with others. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any queries, you can comment or reach me out on aviation4gk at gmail.com. Thank you again and see you in the next video.